Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today's video, I'm going to show you a quick feature that's mostly underused in Canva, and that is the locking feature. It can become such a useful tool, and if you're not aware of it, it's really easy to find. But let's dive into Canva and have a look. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative and also a Canva creator. I create templates that you can be found directly on Canva. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link down below in the description. You can check out all the templates that I have on Canva. And also down there, there's a 45 day trial of Canva Pro. If you've not tried Canva Pro so far, there's a 45 day trial down there for you to check it out. Okay, on to today's little tutorial. And this is a really quick one, I think. And it's going to be using the locking feature in Canva. Now, where do you find the locking feature? Now, when you come in, say you've got this design, if you click on any element, you'll notice up in the top right hand corner here, there's a little locking feature. And you can just lock that. And that means that that element now, now I've clicked on it, it can't be moved. But this is where it comes in really useful, is that if you've got something there like this, it's a logo, and I don't want to change the colours, like beforehand, if I just quickly unlock it, you can see that you can change the colours. Now I might not, you know, you might want to have a company logo on there, or a particular design in some way, that you don't want people to change the colours on. So say this was a, a, an element that I could change the colours on, and that's a book, and I don't want people to actually change, or someone else that's going to be changing this design, or working on this design, I don't want them to edit that feature. I can just lock that, and if you click the lock feature, it actually locks that in place. So if you've got a particular position that you want something to be in on a template, so say for every template I wanted to have this Canva logo in this exact position for all of my thumbnails on my YouTube channel. And I used to do that. I used to have um, a, a little logo on all of my templates and have it all in the same position. And by locking that element into place, it means that it can't be changed from one design to the next now the other good reason is so i'm just going to unlock this one but i'm going to lock duplicate this page this is a book this is a video that i did prior to this one if you're looking at publishing a book on canva then check it out i'll put a link up here and also in the description down below to this particular video but let's say we've got this particular template and I'm not sure that this is the these the rest of these colors are the ones that I want to have on there. So I'm just going to lock this Canva one in place. Now I don't have to lock the KDP or the book because those are, don't have the color changing option on there. Now when I come down to styles, you can see here I've got my uh, brand colors if you like, or I've got other alternative colors and I can come over here and I can just click on this and I can cycle through this and that'll cycle through different options using my brand colors. Now you'll notice as I cycle through those, it doesn't change the Canva logo or yeah, the brand colors for Canva. Now if I click on this and unclick and unlock the Canva logo, if I do that, if I then now shuffle on those, you'll see that the actual colors of the Canva logo do change so it's really good to be able to make sure that you're locking in place any brand colors that you want to keep any elements on the page that you want to keep in a particular location or in a particular area and yeah just use it it's one of the most underrated underused features i think in canva and that's it for today that's just a really quick tutorial to have a look at the locking feature on canva and how you can best use the locking feature on canva to lock and unlock your elements in place it locks the colors it locks position so try it out and until next time thank you very much and bye for now you can't be losers, send me free.